autumn is here and I'm really not prepared for it. So I thought I'd come out this morning and correct that by doing a little bit of scouting in my local woodland and see if I can find some of those beautiful colors that you tend to expect this time of the year. You're coming along. In all fairness, scouting is a bit of a new concept for me. Normally, I'll rock up at a location, I'll have decided where in advance, of course, and I'll just enjoy whatever conditions I get when I show up there. Of course, I'll go out nice and early in the morning, so each time I go out, I'll be hoping for a sunrise. My last two trips out, where I've been able to enjoy sunrise and fog, They've been complete flukes. I've really not expected to enjoy the latter. So like I say, when I get those sort of conditions, I just shoot wherever I come across. And sometimes I find it's a little bit of luck when I'm looking back at Lightroom. Of course, the more I get out, the more I shoot. I kind of hone that photographer's eye, I find. So more often than not, it's not down to luck. I'm probably being a bit harsh on myself there. In terms of kind of sunrise and fog, I kind of went to uh, Hothfield. I had to think where I've been recently. I went to Hothfield recently and got that fog. I didn't expect, I had no expectations going there. And it was the same last time out when I went to All Hallows. I really didn't expect to enjoy those conditions that I got, got to enjoy. Did I expect to get any portfolio shots when I went to either of those two locations? Not in the slightest. I've been to both before now. And I thought, yeah, okay, there's gonna be some nice shots there. I'm not gonna pick up anything portfolio worthy. But at the same time, don't forget that when you go out with the camera, it's also about getting lost in the moment. It's about enjoying nature around you. It's about enjoying the moment as and when it happens. And you don't always need to enjoy the moment from the back of your camera and through the lens sometimes you can just put the camera down and just enjoy being in that moment here just for a minute. I'm shooting this bridge that I've captured in the past when I've visited this location. I've got the camera set up on the tripod ready to fire and I guess I'm cheating a little bit because I'm out here today I'm supposed to be scouting, I'm supposed to be hunting for those rich autumn colours like I said at the start but this is a spot that I really wanted to talk about this morning because it's a real bugbear of mine when I'm shooting woodland photography. You see, when I've shot this location before now, it's so messy, there's so much going on. It's just, I like my shots to be clean. I like there to be so little distractions. We've got this little tree, spindly tree here, right in the way of the bridge. It gets in the way, it's cluttered. It makes the shot messy, it makes the shot look untidy and it's the thing that I struggle with when I'm doing woodland photography really because like I said already I like my images to be clean I can't get my head around the compositions so it's why you don't see me coming out and doing woodland photography too often for that big reason last time I tried to photoshop the tree out I think I took the image from a probably a bit further over towards the left, your right, and I just had to try and Photoshop that tree out and it didn't work as well as I wanted 
to my eye, I could see that where I cloned it out, it looked messy. I'm not the best in Photoshop. But I've come back here again today. I'm going to try and shoot something a little bit better. Again, I'm probably going to have to take the spindle tree out, the spindly tree out of the shot. But I'm hopefully going to do a little bit better in Photoshop this time around. Of course, like I say, I'm on the tripod. And of course, the other bit that's an issue is we've got little bits of light breaking through the leaves in the background. It just, it's just wasteful white highlights. It's not going to add any color. It's gonna add a little bit of distraction to the scene, not my cup of tea. So again, there's gonna to have to be quite a bit of editing, I think, for this, for this image, if I'm being completely honest. I'm focused nicely on the bridge though, because of course I'm shooting handheld a lot at the moment. This morning, I'm having to change the ISO down from 4,000 down to ISO 100, and again, adjust the aperture to F8. And that leaves me with a bit of a low shutter, because of course, we don't get too much light in here. It's a pretty dark surroundings, and that takes me down to just over three seconds in terms of a shutter. I've got to make sure as a result that the two second timer is activated. There it is activated and there is our shot. you not I'm really struggling to find those awesome colors this morning I might have come out a little bit too early I've literally just been walking along the path here and there's some lovely browns there's a few yellows dotted around the tree in the background I have no idea I can't tell the difference between an oak between a silver birch so if you know what that tree is over in the background that kind of white one let me know because I'm utterly clueless is it worthy of a shot. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about finding anything portfolio worthy this morning. So let's grab it anyway. Today really has been an odd one. I've come out to this location purely for scouting purposes, not for one composition in particular. Like I've said countless times, today's all about trying to find those autumn colors. And I think to summarize, they're not out quite yet. Give it a couple of weeks, maybe next month, maybe into November we might see kind of those yellows, those reds. We've got a few browns as the ferns die off, but that's probably it for today in terms of what I think I'm gonna find. And I'm not complaining, to be honest. It's been great getting out, taking myself out of my comfort zone today. Like I say, I don't like woodland photography. I find shots can be too messy. I struggle to find compositions probably trying to look for perfection when it's going to be impossible because there's always going to be a little bit of mess but what I can say is coming up in October I've got some great locations to head out to I can't wait to share them with you in the coming weeks because like autumn isn't all about the colors it's a lovely time of the year the sun's coming up a little bit later. I'm not having to roll out of bed at four o'clock in the morning. But that, of course, 
brings its own problems. I don't get a location. I don't necessarily get a location to myself. Because later in the morning, you've got dog walkers, you've got people exercising. Hell, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I don't have the right to a location all to myself. I never take that approach, but it is just nice getting up and out early, no one else around, a bit like others. I don't like talking on the camera if other people are around, especially if I know they're around, which is why you might sometimes see me just kind of dancing around, just wondering if other people might be, might be approaching, because I don't want to, I get camera shy, I'm not going to lie about that one. But I think that for now, that'll do me for today. Yeah. Nice relaxing morning, just taking in the moment, just enjoying the moment. Why am I recording B-roll on something called Cardiac Hill? I must be mad. Oh, let's go get the, let's go get the camera. I should add the shots from the top of the hill and from the bottom. They're not bad though, they're not bad. But I'm mad, I'm mad.